Right, I've got some fantastic news when it comes to buy to let. We've now got a potential game changing product here, uh, which is essentially a five year fix with no early repayment charges. Rental calculations are based on the five year, so which means they work out to be more from a loan perspective than a two year perspective. So for all those people that are landlords or looking to get into buy to let, not quite sure what to do, this could be a perfect product. So let's talk about it. I'm gonna give you lender details. I'm gonna tell you how rental calculation works, some of the lending criteria around it. So I'll catch you on the video. good and I think is a game changer especially for people that are looking to uh, cut their losses not really get tied into a two-year fixed uh, go for the five-year fix but have the flexibility of come in and out of it or maybe sell the property in a few years time don't want to pay a high early repayment charge they want to use it as a cheap bridge and we'll talk about bridging uh, and how this could be a cheap equivalent to bridging but in certain scenarios only. So let's talk about it. Let's go and have a look at the product in my article here. Um, so, uh, so the lender who's launched this wonderful product is a lender called Accord Mortgages. Now Accord are only available via the intermediary channel, which means brokers have got access to Accord. So this particular product is only accessed by uh, brokers, which is good because it's not gonna be right for everybody. And that broker can evaluate your situation and then be able to give you suitable advice around that. Because you know, everything does sound good right now, but we're gonna th run through some of the th reasons why you wouldn't go for this product as well. Not just the good points, guys, but talk about the product as a whole. Um, so obviously the headline is five year fix, no early repayment charges. Why that's good is because of the rental calculations. I'm going to talk about the rental calculations. I'm also going to look at the actual product details itself, okay? So what's why you would use this type of product generally is, you wanna go for a two year really, you don't wanna be tied in, because you may think interest rates are gonna come down long term. You may wanna sell the property and get out of it. You may wanna capital raise in a couple of years time. You think, well, you might need to do some work to the property and don't wanna be like tied into a five year fixed. You wanna have the benefits of getting some security longer term, but also if things change and rates start getting better, you want to hop on board. You also don't want to be paying a really non-standard high, uh, not a specialist lender rate. This is a high street lender. Accord is a high street rate. What I would say, they're not on the high street, but they're a mainstream product le lender. Okay, so they're not, you know, they're not giving you a really high rate or very high fee in this instance. I've done videos on this where there's fees at the moment of going three, four, five, six, seven percent of the loan amount. Okay, 7% of the loan amount. You've got some people in central London who've got large mortgages, 600, 700,000 pound mortgages, paying five to 7% of that. I don't know, five times 700, whatever it is, 5% of 700. It is eye-watering, okay? So it's got a flat fee structure, which is wonderful. Yeah, they're skimming off the top, and let's talk about where it's a good product and where it's a bad product. So. This is, the, this is the product itself, and you can go on, the, uh, on my website and obviously have a look at this article and, and get all the information in detail. So there's three types of products, 60% LTV, 65 and 70%. These are the rates. Now, it, as soon as you look at this, you go, well, actually, these rates are not that competitive. And that's actually true. On a five-year fix, and that's why you need some advice, and that's why you should really speak to us or speak to whoever you want to speak to a, a, from a broker perspective. But really, this is not going to be right for everybody. There are better five-year fixes, I would say, in the mid to high falls at the moment. Uh, probably high falls, I would say, right now um, in the market. Okay, so it's not going to be right for everybody. Okay, however, it does give you that flexibility. Okay, so you got that. Um, you've got, you know, I've, I've worked out the calculations, the end dates, what the deposit requirements is. Uh, the lending fee, the lending fee is £1,995 because, and believe it or not, that's not bad in this current climate. A flat fee of under £2,000 is actually pretty good. I've told you who the lender is. I'm not hiding away. You can go and use them yourself. Go and you tell your brokers about it. Get advice. That's all. I, and you have to, thankfully, with uh, with a court because you can't you can't deal with them direct. You've got to go for a broker. And this is the big bit. No early repayment charges. 
This is quite unusual. On a purchase, they give you £250 cash back. Okay, so that's quite good. So normally the cash back's put into your account within 30 days um, of completion or actually on completion. So that's quite good. That could go towards your legal cost. And I've worked this out on a purchase basis, all right? So that's all great. So what's so not great about this product? Okay, first of all, not for limited company, special purpose vehicles. So if you've got a limited company, you want to do this, can't do it. Accord will only do it under personal names, right? So that's negative point one. Negative point two um, is uh, around maximum number of applicants. It can only be two. Okay, so you can't have four applicants on there, right? Thirdly, Accord are a mainstream lender, which means they will stress test not only this property, but they will also stress any background buy to let properties that you've got. And the stress ratio on this is 145% at five and a half, which is not the best out there in the market. It's pretty standard, okay? But it's not the best out there. So all your buy to lets in the background have to meet affordability and stress test court criteria so you've got to take that into account but then let's look at the actual rental calculations right so we're looking at the rental calculations here um, for lower rate taxpayers and higher rate taxpayers so purchase price and i've worked out the purchase price for you so to give you an idea you see i'm trying to make life easier for you guys so to get you an idea if you wanted to buy a property for two hundred thousand pounds obviously for 75 percent you need uh, 150,000 pounds loan. The monthly rental, if you're a lower rate taxpayer, must be to 969 pounds, and the monthly, if you're a high rate taxpayer, must be 1,124 to meet the this product. So, which is not that bad because you would either otherwise be stuffed with a two-year fixed, and it's, the, the rental calculations will be lower. So, those are uh, some of the things that you need to um, uh, think about. So let's talk about how this product can be used. Some of the ways it can be used is a cheap bridge. Right. So it could be used as a cheap bridge, but I've put in this article here and I've wrote some bits here. Basically, this is a mortgage, it's not a bridge. So you, the value will go around there as if you're ready to rent that property out. They will evaluate it based on its current state. Okay, so there's no point saying, oh, I will put a new kitchen in there, I will put a new flooring in there, I will put a new boiler in there, it's got to be mortgageable. So don't think, oh right, it's a great, great little bridge here, I can use this. But if the property is mortgageable, then why not go for that? Um, so that's where it could be used, okay? So if you're not going to do too much, you're not adding an extension, you're not doing all sorts of things there, and, and you can live with the rental calculation being lower, because if it's a bit of a state, they may still lend on it, but they may reduce the rental calculation, so it means you may need to put more deposit down, okay? It just depends at what level you're looking to buy. Because let's be honest, you know, 450,000 pounds, as soon as you start going higher, you know, the rentals may not fit, okay? Because the way they're working it is they're stress testing it on this rate. Whatever the rate is, they're stress testing it on that rate. Okay, so there may be better product products out there with a rate of 4.7 that will do a stress test better, which means you can get more. So, like I said, it's not going to be suitable for everybody. I would say anyone from 100,000 to 250, 300,000 pounds buy to let, you've got a good shot at it. Anything more than that is probably not great. Portfolio landlords, I think you'll struggle with this rental stress test of 145 at what five and a half. I think that could be a problem for a lot of people. Depends again where your properties are situated and where you are. Um, so there are some little gems out there. Another good point around Accord Mortgages is they don't have a minimum income for buy to let landlords. Okay, so you know you know the old rules where a lot of the lenders still have them. You must have a twenty-five thousand pounds employed minimum income, not using property income. Okay, they used to have that. A lot of lenders still have that in place. Well, the court doesn't have that. That doesn't mean you can't have an income. Okay, and I'm please. Okay, remember this, right? It doesn't mean you, you oh, I've got no income, but I want to buy a buy to let because I've got 25% deposit. That doesn't mean that they will do a sense check, check, sense check behind the scenes. They will also do first time buyer, first time landlords. Okay, so you could be living with mum and dad and you've got some money and you're thinking, I'm going to invest it into property. And you could do that. A lot of the lenders do not allow you to do that. They say, for you to become a landlord, you need to be a homeowner first. Well, that's not required for this lender, right? So again, a good mainstream lender, generally good, sensible, 
uh, must have a good credit report, I would say a cre good credit profile. But apart from that, you know, discuss it with your mortgage broker. Thankfully, this is a, a intermediary only, so discuss it with them. Discuss it with me if you do want to speak to someone. Hopefully, um, you, you'll pick us. But yeah, I, I, hope, I hope I've given you a glimpse of hope there to what's on the horizon. I did predict lenders would start coming in with a little bit better, more innovative type of product because it's complete madness at the, at the moment. Uh, and a lot of the people ideally want to go for a two year because of the rules that are set out by the regulator. They're being pushed into a five year, which is not necessarily the best thing because a lot of projections out there and even lending pricing is, is predicting that potentially the, we will peak the interest rates in the next year or two and then it will level things out. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this type of videos. Uh, you want me to concentrate a little bit more on criteria, product and solution based videos for yourselves. And uh, I would love to have your feedback. Thanks a lot. Take care. All the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.